What is up, Apex Nation, and welcome to my first ever video on this channel. Today we are building Metal Earth's UNSC Warthog from the Halo series. And a uh, little disclaimer for the beginning of this video, and I think for a bit of the video. You'll see cameras change. Well, not really cameras change. You'll see that. <laughs> you will see me adjust things to try to make things less shiny, make show up better, and you'll see some color changes here and there. Really just trying to figure out how to work, and also the focus does get better. Trust me, it does get better. But as my experience building this, this was the first Metal Earth uh, model I built, and I get better tools. Trust me, these tools were not the greatest. And as my first time doing it, I didn't quite pay attention to the instructions as well as I should have. And for this body, bending this body, you really need to make sure you get this body correct. I did not get this body correct. It, uh, I thought maybe as I got the other pieces in, it would help shape it. And maybe if I did some of the other pieces correctly, it would shape it better. But still, this is a pretty cool project. I didn't follow some of the instructions as well as you need to. And being that uh, when you put these pieces together, there's these little metal tabs, as you see me straighten some of them out, that I accidentally bent. And these metal tabs either need to be uh, twisted or bent flat. And they're, they're clearly marked in the instruction booklet on which one to do. Either bend it or twist it. And I just didn't listen very well on those. Especially with these ones right here. These things never stayed for me. I don't think I have them even on the front finished product. If I can get it without it falling on me. Uh, no, I don't. Well, I do. I have one. One's on there. Yeah. For sure, I want to get this project again, or this uh, model again, and do this again. I don't think I'll make a video on it, but maybe I will. I don't know. But right here, I flattened those pieces. Definitely not the way you're meant to do it. You were supposed to twist them so they don't move. Bending them, you, they just they fall off, and it didn't work very well. But I would recommend for these is proper tools, for sure. I go get my good tweezers eventually here in the project. And then I also picked up the actual Metal Earth tool package. And I haven't tried those yet. But they're way better than those uh, Hyper Tough ones I bought there. Because they, um, the Hyper Tough ones, was the last time I used them. It's right there in this project. And uh, I put them on a shelf. And they're already rusting. They've never been outside. And they're just rusting away. And they weren't that great. And here, you can see I'm flattening it again. I wasn't supposed to. I was meant to twist these. But I didn't notice that in the instruction booklet until much later in this project than needed to be. And that's why it's all shaky. And as you can see, the color change has happened. That's why my hands are a lot more red. Because I was trying to get the glare, but also trying to get detail to show up in the metal. I'll get rid of the glare, that is, and get detail to show up in the metal. And, uh... Again. I th actually, I think that one was flattened. Think it back. I don't have the instruction book. I kind of wish I had the instruction book still recording this audio. This was a while ago. <laughs> I think just got around to it now, recording this audio for it. And I will say, for future videos of this channel, I do plan on doing things differently. And if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know what this channel is about and if it has any other videos on it or not, it's going to be my hobby channel where I build models, I paint miniatures, and things like that. And I have a bunch of miniatures to paint. A lot. I got into the hobby of wargaming probably at the wrong time because, you know, pandemic and all. Because I, I haven't got to play a single game. And I don't even know if my game stops or game, game stops, game shops are around here are even doing tournaments on this stuff anymore. 
but I have a lot of miniatures to paint, and I'm enjoying just painting them as a hobby. I don't really need to play, and what am I, what am I doing here? Am I flattening them? What am I doing? I'm grabbing, I'm twisting, I'm finally twisting. I finally learned, but I have the wrong tools. Nope, I still didn't go grab them yet. So yeah, this channel will be uh, about hobby building, be some Warhammer, be some Star Wars Legion, be um, random other miniatures from like WizKids and stuff like that. Transformers is an upcoming one if this is the first video you're watching. The next video will be painting Optimus Prime. And I did that one wrong again. I'm flattening them, aren't I? Or am I twisting? Yeah, those are the wrong tweezers, man. They're way too big. Tweezers? Pliers. Those are just needle nose. Those are way too big. I go get tweezers eventually. But I did have fun building this project. It was really, really cool. I definitely got my brother to thank for this. It was a random cookout. He was like, hey, oh, check this out. And he showed me on his phone. He goes, these are the projects I've been working on, these little models. I was like, oh, man, those are cool. And he goes, yeah, it's taking me forever to do one. You got to, like, bend them and mold them. And see right here, to interrupt my own story, how the frame is so bent. And I didn't even bother to fix it because I was like, ah, the more pieces I put on will straighten it, right? Right? Yeah, I mean, to an extent. Besides the one critical error I make in this project, which we will get to. Yeah, so, oh, sorry, time. Yeah, so my brother showed me the ones he's working on. I think he was working on a login truck, I think he told me. He said, like, he takes so long because, you know, he really wants it to be perfect. He takes forever doing each piece. I was like, oh, man, that sounds cool. Then I saw there this, the Warthog. And I was like, oh, buying it. It was like 12 bucks or something like that. It was super cheap. And some of them are more expensive and some of them are even motorized now. And just because I, you know, bought this, so Google decides to give you all the different recommendations for everything, especially Amazon. But I do have a bunch more. I think I have four other ones right now of this Metal Earth to put together eventually. I was really hoping this right here would straighten out the body a little bit because we're putting it in the bed. And yes, I, my camera work leaves a lot to be desired. And I don't remember if that's supposed to be flying. I think by now I am following the correct either flatten or twist. So I think you're pretty much set for all of them to be correctly. Here's me trying to bend the body back. This stupid piece these are one of the complaints I have for this project or uh, uh, product. Yeah, product. <laughs> Company, Middle Earth, listen up. <laughs> These pieces, uh, how can I explain which ones they are? The ones I'm not messing with right now, even though it's going really, really fast. The really, really long pointed ones that you'll see me bend here in a second. They don't have. That one, right there, that I messed it with. That's what you have to do to them. They don't have little uh, clips to go in, nothing like that. And by the way, this piece sucked. <laughs> they're meant to just sit there, and you're meant to get it so tight and so precisely in there that they are always making connection to the bottom, or to the, I guess, railing, the sides, the sides of the vehicle. And they don't. And this frustrates me. Stupid thing. I think I, I may have been doing this one wrong. Looking at that. And I, there's my tweezers. There we go. So now I can twist. The stupid thing fell out. Me frustrated. <laughs> and I think I even changed my lighting a little bit. And I broke the stupid things I was just telling you about right off. And yeah, I never put them back on. Never did. I think I attempted to glue it, never did. And here's another one of those pieces. I don't have a little, uh, what do you want to call it, connector? We'll call it a connector. It doesn't have a connector. And it's really awkward, this one, to bend and get into the correct location. And again, I tried to glue it down. And it didn't really want to stay. Like right here, ready? You gotta bend it like that and around 
and you gotta get it so it stays down and it doesn't ever stay down. So I said, screw it, I'll glue it later. <laughs> it's really, really annoying. I think even like that's supposed to just touch. Yeah, that is just floating there, but I think I, no, no, there's a little pin. Yeah, there's that little pin right there. But yeah, that little piece is supposed to just be floating there. And of course my bed fell out because I wasn't using the right tools, but now I have the right tool. Well, I have those good tweezers right there. But you can see that little box right on top there. It just, it's always at an angle. It's weird. Ah, the gun. That I enjoyed. I like bending this little uh, ammo belt. That was cool. Getting it in there and then bending it to it's nice and round. Worked really well. And it kind of like showed that there's a lot of detail you can do with these things. And make them real precise. I like it though. I like that thing a lot. But uh I've been rambling for 11 minutes now. So make sure you guys subscribe, or girls, make sure you humans subscribe to the channel to see more hobby videos. They're gonna be a little bit better. I've been planning them out. I will say, I just recorded all this footage, but I will be having face cam in the third video. Yeah, third video. The Optimus Prime video will not have face cam in it. But I do have two cameras now, so I will have face cam in the video. And I'm gonna do things a little differently. I'm gonna try to develop my style. You know, every every creator has his own style. I'm gonna try to develop mine. We just have, you know, real conversations with you like this throughout the video. I'm fine with that. I can, I can ramble for 12 more minutes. That gun is really cool. I like that a lot. That one came out great. We still haven't gotten to the crucial mistake I made in this build. And I finally have the camera settings to where I like them. I believe this camera settings, I took a, a screenshot of my camera settings, of my webcam settings. Because I was like, oh, finally, they look good. The focus is right. You can see things. There's still a little bit of glare, but not as bad as glare as I thought there would be. I thought there was going to be like a blinding glare that would make this annoying to watch. But it's not terrible. You definitely get used to how these all bend and get them to nice angles. And I will say, I think this one was a moderate difficulty. This wasn't an easy difficulty one on their scale. I think their scale is four. I want to say, I want to say there's easy, moderate, uh, challenge, and expert. Or expert and challenging. One of those is higher than the other. I can't quite remember. But I have some other interesting ones I do want to build. So anyway, as I was saying, make sure you guys subscribe. Girls, humans, as I said before. I'm going in circles here. Make sure you subscribe so you can watch more of me learning and building and the channel isn't going to be me being an expert in everything like I'm, I'm not it's just plain and simple I'm not I'm not at all but it's about the journey of becoming better of learning of taking and trying something different in every video because this is the first time I built one of these metal models in Optimus Prime it's the first time I built a base from scratch. I didn't use the base it came with, I built one from scratch. It was the first time I ever did that. I don't know what's going to be for the next video, what my project will be, or what my uh, technique I'll try or something. But what is one of my goals is either to implement a new technique or skill in each video, or try something completely new like this, or improve upon whatever. <laughs> improve upon that skill improve upon that technique or my building skills in this sense of metalworks metal earth metal work what you can call it metal work I guess but man I'm glad for those tweezers 
Those tweezers are older than I am. <laughs> and they're in such good condition. They're in so good condition. They, uh, where'd those things come from? They came from my mother's work when she worked for a company that's no longer, I don't know if they're no longer in business, but no longer around here. So I'm not gonna say the name of the company. But it was a electronic based company where you put pins into IC chips back when humans did this. Put pins into IC chips and processors and stuff like that. Those little gold pins. And those tweezers were designed for that. But when the company shut down, that's just something my mother had in her pocket or whatever. Because you know, in the back pocket as you walk around, whatever. And we had them. We had them forever. And then when I got into hobby making, in hobby videos and crafting and all that stuff, I ended up with them in my toolbox. And now I have them <laughs> all these years later. And they're, they're, they're incredible. I don't know if I could ever find that pair again, but I would not mind having an extra one. And they're, you know, they're really nice. I actually had them in my fishing tackle box for a long time because they're so small and you know, needle nosy that if a fish ever swallowed a hook, I could use it to get the hook out without hurting the fish. So I had them in my tackle box for a very long time. It's nice having that tool that's been around for that long. We haven't gotten to my mistake yet. The mistake that, honestly, makes me want to throw this thing in the trash. It really is a bad mistake. I don't remember what that piece is. Oh, I know what that is now. I will say my advice for anybody who wants to build these things, I say go for it. They are a lot of fun to play around with and build. Is really make sure you're following the instructions carefully. It's hard to know, especially with that first piece, that original body piece. It's hard to tell what angle they want you to bend everything at. But just try your hardest, take your time. I understand what my brother said he took, you know, days on a piece to get it right and all that. I understand why he did that. Just, I mean, <laughs> look how bent it is. <laughs> it's me trying to fix it, it's a stupid thing. Get straight! <laughs> it just won't. Oh, here we go, we're coming up to it now. The crucial mistake. The seats are cool though. The seats are really detailed and really easy to work with. I enjoyed working with the seats. And I definitely want to build this again, and I really wanted to get the Scorpion as well. There's a Halo Scorpion, but I can't find it. But I haven't looked in a few months, so maybe I can find it now. Man, this this these were a lot of fun, these metal works. Metal Earth video the uh, product. Really cool. I recommend it. If you're looking into making a nice little project. And some of them are bigger. I have noticed that. This one's fairly small. But some of them are a little bit bigger. Some of them are really easy. I mean, there's all kinds of different uh, categories or whatever you want to call it. Subject matter. There's, uh, and there's my mistake. I just made it. This piece is on upside down. And I think right there. I think, no, nope. I didn't notice it yet. I haven't noticed. But yeah, that's upside down. And that makes a huge difference. Huge difference because there's an angle to that piece. And I mess up. And this is the piece, isn't it? I think, I think so. I think this is the piece I try to put on. I go, no, nope, nope. These ones worked. I think I 
didn't even put on that third piece that's under my hand. These ones are on. But even they were a little bit hesitant to go in, and that still wasn't a red flag for me. This was a stupid mistake of not following directions. Learn by my mistake. Yeah, and we grab this piece. Let's bend this into shape. And I'm pretty sure I have that in a bits box right now. Because I didn't want to throw it away because it might be cool for a base somewhere. But as I look and I go, wait, that doesn't fit. Wait, what? What? The, how, wait, what? How's this go on? What? <laughs> look, yeah, I'm all confused. Wait, okay. Then I looked at it and you can see that piece is still down there. Because it doesn't go in. And then there's my realization. That doesn't fit because it's upside down. And I didn't want to undo all those pins because I think I'll break them and try to get them smooth again. And then I have to glue and the glue wasn't working <clears throat> and all that. And I just said, you know what? I'm going to force it. And I did. <laughs> I forced it in. And it's stupid. I can see the mistake every time I look at it. It annoys me. And this is the number one reason why I want to redo this project. But I don't mind showing my mistakes. That's another thing about the channel. I will show my mistakes. I don't mind talking about them. And I just hated that so much. These tires though, oh, I was surprised in this. When I first started to do these tires, I'm like, oh man, this is gonna suck to make it smooth. But they weren't bad. They weren't bad at all. I liked it. And it kinda, like these little pins right here, as you got them into position, which I think I tried to twist them, then really I looked over and saw the instructions, which I'd bend them down. You can really just smooth them out. And they're pretty circular. I mean, they could be a little more circular, but they're pretty circular. I was quite pleased with them. And I did not show you me 10 minutes of fumbling with that to get that into the right place. All right, uh, we'll wrap this up here because I, I realized I don't have much on the, video, on the video left, but I hope you guys did enjoy my very first video. Things will be different. I'm still developing, you know, my style for these videos. And honestly, when I hit the record button to record this audio, I wasn't expecting to ramble for the entire video. I was expecting to have a lot more downtime, a lot more just music time on the build, things like that. Still might in the next video, but figured, you know, I'll mess around and we'll see how the videos progress over time. So my plan. If you made it this far in the video, by the way, hit that thumbs up button. Show your support. Congratulations. You watched me build a project wrong. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for going forward, I want to try to do one video a week. I understand that's probably not possible with me also running a gaming channel. Apex Reaper Gaming, by the way. You can go check it out. I'm probably going to miss some weeks, but I'm going to try my hardest to get videos out. At least one a week. That pin was not bending for me. I could not get those tweezers in there for that pin. For that pin right there. And I don't even think my new tweezers... Actually, maybe they're smaller. They might actually got it in there. My actual Metal Earth toolkit set. Words. Uh, yeah. Hope you guys really did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button to show your support. If you're new around here and you haven't yet, subscribe. It's the very first video of the channel. And make sure you guys comment down below and feel free to share the video all that good stuff come check out my gaming channel 